So what we're going to do here is set up Google MX Records. That means we're going to set up Google Mail on our domain name. If you've moved a website to us and you currently run your emails through Google Mail, what you need to do is ensure that the MX Records is still set to Google Mail before you point the domain to us. So what we do in our control panel is we, we're in here in the main hosting control panel and we scroll down to where it says custom DNS. Click custom DNS. This is the default setup for a new domain with us, so nothing's been changed here. We've got the A record for the website, a list of MX records as it currently stands, a few CNAM records for things like pop.thedomain or mail.thedomain. What I've got here in this tab, I've just Googled for Google MX records, they're always the same, so it's this top one is MX record values. Let's click that. And you'll see here we've got the name host alias, the time to live, which means the number of seconds before it refreshes. The record type is MX, that's what we're changing today, that stands for Mail Exchanger, and the priority. Now priority for mail, uh, it means it's going to try number one first, and then if that's not there, it'll try number five, we'll try both of those number fives, and then if those aren't there, it's going to try one of the number tens. So let's set this. So name, host, alias, blank or at, and value answer destination false. So we've cloud hosting both. This MX record we want to delete because we don't want the email to run for us at all. Emails can't run from two places at once, they can only run from one place. So add a new record. We're going to leave that completely blank because we're setting the record for, for that domain name. The record type is MX. The priority was 1 and the content is that. TTL. Google is recommending 3600, you see here, this column here. Really that doesn't matter so much, but let's just do as they say and put it 3600. So that's one added. Now we just need to do the others. Almost there. And there we are. So now if I look at this list, you'll see I've got one, five, five, ten, ten, all set. It's a root on the left, which means it's with a root record. And then I've got all of those records exactly as they wanted them there. If I make a mistake, I can just go into there, change what it is, and hit Save Changes. Now, this domain doesn't yet run through us. But if it did, and we queried the MX records on this, we'd see where it points. If I, for example, load up a new terminal window, and I typed dig MX training domain name. Now, this doesn't run through us, so there's no MX records. But if I, obviously you don't need to do this, I'm just showing you how it works. I'm just going to go dig on a name server that serves this zone. I'm going to do a dig for an MX record. And then I'm going to do a dig for this domain. So this would be what happens if this domain ran through this system and if those were live. If you want to do this and you're on a Mac, you just type terminal, then you type in dig MX at and then the name server and then the domain name. Press that. And you'll see that these are the records that now respond for this domain name. That's the time to live. That's the 1, 5, 10, 10, 5. Those are the records, and that's what it responds.